Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is gonna be me reviewing the Sephora Micro Smooth Finishing Bake Powder. I really wanted to review this product for you guys because it's honestly been one of my favorite products of 2018. I can say I've used it every single time I did my makeup for the year. So I wanted to give you guys an end of the year review on this product. I'm excited to see what 2019 will be like as far as makeup. I'm excited to see what these brands have up their sleeve. So I did record a demo that I will place at the end of this video pretty much showing you guys how I like to use the product and how it works best for me so before we get into the demo let's get into some details on the product so this powder is sold only at Sephora you can find it on sephora.com or in the store it says online that the product retails at $22 all right, so online they describe this as an ultra light foundation with micronized pigments that blur imperfections for a natural finish. The coverage is light, the finish is natural, the skin type is for normal, dry combination, and oily, and there's seven different shades. Now, let's get into the shades. <sighs> this is the darkest shade that they have. This is the darkest shade that we have. Considering this product has been out for quite some time and they still have not expanded the shade range, it's really terrible. Like, I hate when companies do that. I am not the darkest shade. Like, there are definitely darker shades of brown skin, dark skin girls, and I feel like, why would this be the darkest? So that is a huge con for me. So I'm sorry guys if you're darker than me and you cannot try this powder. I only have seven shades and for a vast majority of the shades to be light and I think two are dark. Like, it is a shame that it is such a good product and they aren't making it inclusive to everyone but hopefully that will change. The coverage to me is super super thin which I love. Whenever I'm doing my makeup especially like my foundation and concealer I don't like it to be too heavy. I don't like my powders to be too heavy. That's why I only use certain powders and they have to be really 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 fine because if they're too thick I don't like my face to look too powdery. If you are looking for something that's a little bit thicker this isn't for you but if you like a powder that is a lot thinner and it's a little bit more natural looking then you're gonna love this I've never used a powder that is so thin to where if you do like this it kind of almost like disappears like it goes away and I want to see if I can show you guys exactly what I mean by that just let me show y'all and look at that I mean it literally blended look at how thin it looks like I don't have nothing on my hand like it's gone and I love that because it kind of just disappears and melts into the foundation in a way I don't even know how to describe it but it's so thin almost to the point where it's like it's not even there so overall I would definitely say you can wear this all day you don't really have to worry about getting too oily throughout the day like I don't really find myself having to touch up or do anything like alright guys so now that I've given you my honest thoughts on the product now I can jump right into the demo showing you guys exactly how I like to use this product and what other products work well with so the it. concealer that you will see me using is the instant age rewind from Maybelline in the color hazelnut the powder you will see me setting this with is the airspun loose face powder in the color translucent extra coverage setting that with a real techniques beauty sponge and I do want to explain to you guys why you saw me using three different tools whenever I'm setting my whole face and I brush it off I like to use this Whenever I need to brush off certain areas like my nose and my under eye, I like to use these two because as you can see, both of these brushes have a point to them so they can get in small areas, either on top or under, you know, whatever. So let's go ahead and get into the demo. So I decided to do this part in a voiceover. I felt like it would be a lot easier if I didn't have to talk and I could just concentrate on what I was doing. So here you're gonna see that I've already applied my concealer and now I'm just gonna take my air spun and set under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. So 
So right here, I'm just making sure to grab extra product and to set my smile lines because this is where I tend to crease up a whole lot. Once I'm done doing that, I can now grab the Sephora powder and a large face brush and just start brushing off that air spun and bringing my skin color back to life. Come in. Hey, boo. Everyone say hi to my niece, Journey. <laughs> In a minute, you're gonna see that I like to switch brushes. I like to use more tapered and pointed brushes for this next step so I can get in those small and tight areas. This step is important as it prevents you from getting flashback. You wanna make sure that you're knocking off all of your setting powder and packing on your face powder. And then once you're done doing all of that, you'll have a flawless base. All right guys, so overall, I would definitely recommend this product to you guys, to anybody that can get their hands on it. Hopefully the issue of the shade range will change in the future, but if not, then that's too bad because they can definitely sell way more if they expanded that range. So that is it for this video, guys. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever tried this product before, if you're interested in trying it, if you're not gonna try it, or if you have other powders that you like that I may wanna try. I thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.